Hello and welcome, Zai here. Uh, I have a very interesting build for you today. I was uh, messing around on the 2.1 PTR and I was looking for my Flow of Eternity to do a Temple Stretch build when suddenly I saw that instant store to the Grand Temple, the affixes changed. It used to be a uh, spirit refund if you killed six or more enemies with Wave of Light, but now it reduces the spirit cost Wave of Light by 43%. And I was like, whoa, holy shit, that's awesome. I could make a really cool fireball with uh, with wave of lights, well, explosive lights, if only I had a cinder code, but I don't have a cinder code, so that's something I plan to do when I do get one. But lacking a cinder code, I thought, well, you know, I have all these holy items and stuff, so let's try and make a, a holy build. And, you know, empowered wave, the Powered Wave reduces the spirit cost on Wave of Light to, to uh, 40 spirit, and it's holy, so I thought, oh, I'll, just, I'll give it a try and see what happened. And the effect was amazing. I can, I don't need a spirit generator. It's, it's, it's great. Like, check this out. I just keep, keep casting it, keep casting it, keep casting it, keep casting it. The spirit goes going down a little bit there, but. I was like, well, I can just, I don't need spirit generator, I can just spam balls all day, that's pretty fucking awesome. So I went to work putting a ball together that uh, would complement this. So first I thought, well, I need spirit generation, so I'm gonna get my Mystic Air Ally, 20 damage, and generate spirit, and get Sweeping Wind uh, for, for spirit regeneration, and I'll get some passes, I'll get the Guardian's Bar for 35% extra spirit regen. And then of course got my Templar for an extra 10% from his uh, skills. Where is it? Inspire 10% spirit generated. And soon enough I was getting loads of spirits that, uh, to, to support this build. And it's pretty pretty cool actually, it's amazing. And because I don't need, don't need a spirit generator, I had uh, extra skill slots available. And for the first time in ages I've been able to use Dashing Strike in the build without being like I was sacrificing too much for this or that on the next thing. So that's pretty cool. So here's the build I got now. Um, got Harmony for resistances, pretty standard. I uh, got trans Transcendence uh, because I'm going to be spamming a Spirit Spender all the time. It just makes sense to have Transcendence there for, for the heals. Uh, Guardian's Path for Spirit Gen and Unity. Now I'm going to talk about Unity in a second when I go over my gear. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that. So of course we've got Wave Light, Empowered Wave, Dashing Strike, for Maneuverability, Sweeping Wind, Air Alley, we've been over that already. Um, Mantra of Healing, Time of Need. Um, I usually don't go for this, but as you can see there, i got all four mantras because I'm using the Inner's Four Set bonus. I'll show that in a second. And I still felt that my resistances were quite low, so I went for the Time of Need rune on Mantra of Healing. Uh, I got Exploding Palm. Now in this slot you can put in whatever you want. Initially I was going with 7 size Strike and then I was doing a bit of um, uh, where is it now? Breath of Heaven and Blinding Flash, Serenity and Sanctuary. Really that's that's the slots where you can define your playstyle. I don't usually like Exploding Palm because I think it's a bullshit skill but I actually don't mind too much in this build. I, I don't really. It's um, I'm enjoying it using Exploding Palm, which I never thought I'd ever say because I fucking hate the skill. <laughs> Excuse my language. Right, so, over here I got uh, Monkey Kings for the 4 set bonus. Uh, obviously he was spinning lower spirits, so this just made sense. And obviously we're using a two-hander, so, yeah. No brainer. Um, I just got some boots there standard and I got in those four sets I got uh, the chest bolts and leggings I've been able to replace some resistances uh, gems here with uh, dexterity for more damage and it's been pretty good and I've got uh, holy damage here and holy damage here I don't really need the strong arms but they're my best braces for holy bolt moments and of course uh, ring of royal grandeur if you got Creed's Flame, I would prefer a Stone of Jordan that actually had something good on it. But I see I got two here that are pretty useless. Um, Stone of Jordan does have five fixes now if you find one in the, on the PTR, which will increase your chance of getting a good fix. So I'm hoping for that I haven't got it yet. 
and yeah, that's the build there. So, interesting thing with Inner's uh, Force bonus. Um, obviously, I went for Inner's because, uh, well, some bonus dexterity there, and extra life for spirit spent, and extra spirit regeneration. And also, the uh, resource costs when being reduced by 70 spirits just makes it so much easier to keep your spirit regen up for sweeping wind. So, when you get to 3 stacks, you just keep pressing it to keep your extra full spirit regen. So, that's quite nice. So, I went for the 4 set because, well, 4 mantras is pretty nice, but also. An added effect is that Unity treats each of the mantras separately. So you get 5% for each ally and each ma mantra that's affecting that ally. So, like normally with Unity, you only get 10% with your Templar and your air ally, but because you've got three ma ma mantras up that affect you, not including conviction, obviously, because that doesn't affect allies, you got three that affect it, so you gain. 10% uh, per ally up to the maximum of 20% of course, so that's pretty cool with this and solo you can have a 20% unity without being in a group and that's that's very very nice very very nice indeed, you can see uh, over here I got 40% damage increased by skills and that's 20% from the unity and 20% from uh, Monkey King's Garb. Now uh, in terms of Paragon points because I'm using a two hander. Uh, I went to force some critical hit damage because you could can't get too much as for the two hander. And I went for attack speed because well, two handers are still quite slow even if you're spamming balls. So I just I want some more attack speed. Here we've got move speed dexterity, pretty standard. Here I went for resist saw and life regen. Uh, the reason I did that was because I have quite a lot of life right now and I felt healing uh, would be more substantial. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice because I'm not using any cooldown reduction at all. So I reroll things to Vitality and such, and re restocked my gem to a very Vitality uh, percent life gem rather than cooldown reduction. Because this has no cooldown reduction in it, and that's also something I, I've not really dabbled with too much. Here yeah, I've gone for resource cost reduction for obvious reasons, and uh, life on it after that. Right. So. You can see I got quite a bit of damage here, and that's quite nice, and um, I nearly got 8% armor. I should be able to get that soon if I can just roll some decks properly. And um, resistances are pretty decent. And yeah, very good. So let me just show you the build in action. Uh, we're on Torment 4 at the moment. Usually my video is on Torment 3, but um, PTR's damage is slightly higher, so... I'm going to do it on top and four. French Shrine, fantastic. I can put down a few spring palms and spam the mantra to activate the force of bonus forms on Wukos, and everything should explode. Yep, there you go. And if you do low, run low on spurs, you always have your air ally to top up your spurs a bit. I usually do it to uh, kill leaf packs because I spam the spur to get the um, monkey king's horse to go off, and then I just press air ally to replenish my spurs. Otherwise, you shouldn't really run out of spurs ever. Uh, before going there, I should show you my spirit regen. I got 12.8 uh, spirit per second, which will go up uh, when I have my stacks max. Let me just get that maxed out. Come on. Proc, damn you, proc. There we go. So we've got three stacks now. We're just gonna keep refreshing. 18.6 spur per second. 
That's quite a lot. Okay, let's go kill Switch. I'm done. That was pretty quick. So yeah, uh, pretty fun build. I really, really enjoy it. It's the first two-handed build that I enjoy that doesn't use Tempest Rush. It's so much fun. I, I would recommend it. And of course, you can also try that fire spec. I haven't built it yet because I don't have the syndicates. Um, there's a lot. As for the holy version, there's a lot of. Um, uh, what am, what am I gonna say? <laughs> um, item variability that you can go for. Now, for example, if you can get the Monkey King's amulet with holy skill damage, less than crit damage, and critical hit chance, and dexterity, and all that, which is gonna be pretty difficult. But if you can, that would be ideal. So then you can uh, pop on the inner's head and uh, scales the dancing serpents. You get an extra 500 dexterity and that will boost your damage quite a bit. Um, the other option is also if you can get the amulet there, you can take some Lucas off and get uh, Sokrin's Gaze, which is a spirit stone. I'll show you that now. Uh, that lets you cast Wave of Light at the enemy. And that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You can. The, the annoying thing is that uh, there's a range here on the ball. So if you... Uh, that range there, that damage there is only 79% holy damage. So if you are clicking and you click on an enemy that's over there, you will cast it here and because of that range, which is a bit annoying. So if you had Sokrin's Gaze, that would solve that problem. The other idea I was uh, thinking of that I don't have a gear for either is this ring set here. Uh, focus. Your primary resource spend is that's uh, spend resource deal 50% more damage while you're at full resource. So with a bit more spirit regen and resource cost reduction to effectively get your uh, spirit generation higher than your spirit spending, um, you can have your wave of light doing 50% extra damage and that will be pretty cool. Now that does mean sacrificing possibly Stone and Jordan and uh, Ring of Royal Grandeur, which would mean that um, you won't get the force of bonus, but I think if you're using Sokrin's Gaze, you only need two sets for the common stuff because the de decoy spawns in melee, and if you're doing a, a range build, obviously your decoy is not going to be in the right place in the right time. So I don't think that's going to be such a big deal if you can do that. So, yeah. Uh, that's the build. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm having a lot of fun with this build. It's yeah, it's great. It really is. It's pretty much on par with um, all my other holy bolts, if not better, which is fairly unheard of for a, a two-handed build that doesn't use Temple Rush. <laughs> so I'm excited. Uh, I would still like to see a few changes. For example, um, life per spirit spent is pretty. That's alright. I mean, that's basically getting 9,000 health per cast of uh, Wave of Light, which is alright, but uh, Blizzard have said that they want to buff healing, and so they buffed uh, life per hit and life uh, regeneration per second, but they nerfed healing globes, and that's a problem for me, because um, life per spirit spent gets its uh, bonus from healing globe and potion bonus. And it's not a lot of that, not a lot of healing actually in the grand scheme of things. Once you get into like tier twenty, tier twenty-five, uh, you really start to need that healing. And 
even with that 37k healing, I struggle in, in tier 21 to keep myself healed. Um, yeah, so I would really like to see that, that buffed. The other thing is, if, uh, you may have noticed when I was using the Wave of Lice that I was only critting for about 5 million. Um, that's because Wave of Light, for some reason, I don't know if this this is true or why it is, they've split the 605% weapon damage into three separate hits. So, because effectively 605% weapon damage in my current gear should be a 15 million crit. So, if, it's, if that is split into three different hits for whatever reason, then those 5 million crits make sense and that seems to be the effect. But I really don't know why they split the, the, the up into three hits. Uh, that 79% weapon damage crits for about 2 million. So overall, assuming all four hits of wave light crits, you're looking at a 17 million crit in my gear, which isn't uh, the best yet for this build. It's not optimized at all. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's it. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you next time. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like this video, and I've been Sire. Cheers.